So once you have your uh, account created on the Office 365 as an admin, the way that you log in to the Microsoft 365 Office 365 Admin Center is just type in portal dot office dot com and you would be redirected to the sign in page and here you have to put in your email address for me it was like admin at train collab info dot on microsoft dot com and then the password that you created you have to enter that and then i would say stay signed in because i don't have to sign in again and again but in case you want to have some more security you can just say no okay so just close this here you go you have it uh, your office 365 admin center here you could just click on aha uh -huh. it's a it's a different uh, view okay i would say admin portal and not the user portal so that it takes me to the microsoft office 365 admin center yeah so now i am into the admin center and uh, this looks a bit better i don't know what was that <laughs> okay so if anyone of you know what i did maybe i was speaking something bullshit i don't know so that's that's the right page you know that's the microsoft 365 admin center where you will be adding now the users so basically you could just say add users just give me a second okay so let's add our first user Let's say her name is Anita Perez. If you have been using Cisco G Cloud, you would be knowing these names. <laughs> okay, so that's Anita Perez. And then I would give her a user ID as A Perez. Okay, and she's available. And I would say, let me create a password. Okay, and then I would create a password. I would say just keep the same password for the rest of the users because we, we you would need three four users for testing so just create the same password you know so it it makes sense just leave the rest of the settings as it is i would select uh, united kingdom and then i would say use the office 365 e5 license that's needed okay and then just click on next click on profile info and in the office phone just add in the phone number of the users for me it was united kingdom so i selected a number from united kingdom i would say next just click on finish adding and that's how so simple it is to add manually a user okay and then let's try adding another user maybe let's add another user named as charles holland that's the display name and then i would say c holland or challenge <laughs> and i will select let me create a password and i would give it a password that's the password for charles and then click on next select the country or location for which you are want to create a user i would select united kingdom same account same uh, same kind of a license and then office phone number just add in the phone number for charles holland click on next and that's how your user is created and that's how the user looks like charles holland with the user id c holland at train collab info dot on microsoft.com and then there's the password and there is no license bought yet you know you see here not yet and a sign is office 365 e5 so that's a trial license you could use okay and then if you want to save it as a template you can save it as a template but for now let's leave it we are not a microsoft expert we are working on uh, cisco side of the things but we need some info just to create the trial environment okay so 
if you want to see how many users have been created just go on the left panel and click on active users and here you could see the number of users that have been added already so I have added a couple of users already and to show you I have added a couple of more so you have Adam McKenzie, Anita Perez, Charles Holland and Monica Chang so that's the part that we have create, done for now of creating the users in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center.